hello this is Frida welcome to my channel I was playing around with the yarn that I have and um, I crocheted this stitch so I said to myself let me share it with my lovely followers okay so it's very easy it's very simple and it's so delicate can you see it so uh, the, this is the back so it's the same it's reversible it would be perfect for blankets or scarves um, I was testing on the yarn that I bought from Iplik Outlet, and it, it is velvet. It is very thin velvet, and uh, the most thing I like about it, can I frog it? Can I unravel it? See? <laughs> so I can. It's not uh, going, you know, into pieces when I'm uh, pulling it apart. But um, uh, this time I wanted to do it on a cotton yarn that I bought from a Gucci Plik from uh, Mrs. Uh, Fatma Gucher. And uh, again, these are from my, um, uh, I did the unboxing. If you want to go and check my unboxing, I have several unboxing that I yarn that I purchased from, and I will put the links below. So uh, this yarn is going, I am going to start this with uh, cotton yarn, and it's a very nice blue yarn. So I just want to see how it go looks on it. So let me just start a uh, sample with you guys and I can share you the stitch as a uh, it's very delicate I really like it I am planning to make a dress for myself and I'm just trying to figure out the right stitch I have this beautiful gray cotton blend yarn that I have and uh, just trying to figure out the right stitch so let me just grab the end of this and I'll be right back Okay, uh, so I'm going to chain with the 3.5. Uh, you need to chain multiple of uh, 4 plus 2. So let me just chain uh, 20 chains. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, oops, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, and plus 2. Okay, so I'm going to change it to a 3 point. It's going to go down uh, uh, to a 3 millimeter because uh, I think that crochet hook was a bit big for this. Okay, so on the, I'm going to do a yarn over. Let me just focus this. Okay, so I am going to be on the fifth, one, two, three, four, five. Right here, I'm going to make a double crochet. And I'm going to uh, create V's. I know it's really hard to see it on the sample. Let me just uh, show it to you. So on the first row, we're going to make V's. To, here, you can see the V's here. To create the foundation to make the puff stitches. These are all puff stitches. Okay, so chain two. And on that same chain, I'm going to make another double crochet. So I'm going to skip three. On the first one, we skip four. So on the following, we're going to skip three on the fourth. One, two, three on the fourth. We're going to make a double crochet, no chain or nothing between though, what, but when we're making the V, we chain two, and on the same, we're going to be chaining uh, two and then a double crochet again, skip three on the fourth, so one, two, three, four, make a double crochet. This is the first time I'm crocheting with this yarn and it's gorgeous. It's a uh, cotton viscose, so it is like Mercedes. Okay, on the fourth again. Double crochet, chain two. And on the same chain, make a double crochet. Okay, again, one, two, three. A 
make it double crochet and pull it just like this okay I know it's really hard to see it on the velvet that's why I wanted to show you it on a cotton yarn so you can understand it better okay so we're going to chain three to go up okay so right here right here right here in that in that between V we're going to make a puff stitch so and I do it six times two three four five and then six and then I pull it once and I make it two chain just like this and between uh, these V's that we skipped so here I make a single crochet chain two to go up and then repeat between those two V's where the two chain is we make a puff stitch two three four five and six and pull and chain two okay and then go between where the V not the V but between that V where we skipped make a single crochet chain two to go up and then again make a puff stitch where the V is so one two three four five six pull it once and then chain two okay I really like this stitch I saw this stitch months ago um, I have another stitch in mind I, I'm going to do the tutorial Again, you make a single crochet, chain two to go up, and then make your puff stitch. Two, three, four, five, six. I am planning to make it top for myself, and then chain two, and then uh, right here, right here, we're going to make it double crochet to finish it up. Either what you can do is you can just make your double crochet here or you're, you can go between those uh, three chains that we did right here in those three chains. You can go between and then make your double crochet. It's up to you. I usually go, I don't go between the chain. I just go, you know, like this and I make my double crochet. Oh, I just wanted to be... Uh, just to be you know what we don't chain three that it makes it too long we don't do three chain I'm sorry so what we do is when we finish the puff stitch you just pull it and then chain one and then come here between right here to make a double crochet okay and then chain three to go up and then we start our uh, V's again this, to do our V's where we did the where we pulled it and where we pulled it right there we we go between there right here you can see the V there so you grab it and then you make a double crochet two chain and then you make a double crochet and then you skip you don't do anything on that single crochet what you do is you go between that V where you pulled your puff stitch you make your V chain two between so we're going we're starting we're, we're making a foundation for the next row for the puff stitch that's all we're doing chain two and on that same you come right there where that V is so you grab it chain two And then we do the same you can either go between here or I just grab that three chain and then I make a single crochet so it would be nice straight line chain three to go up turn my work and I repeat what I did on the second row so I come here and I make a puff stitch so two three four five six one and two chain 
and then right here between I make a single crochet and then chain two to go up and then make my other puff stitch it's so easy and so elegant three four five I need to put my coat on the floor because it's getting what was it four five and then six pull it once and then chain two automatically and then come between chain two again and then repeat the puff stitch one two three four five six pull at once and then chain two and this is all to it so it's a two row repeat one after another to create the stitch two three four five six and then come right here where that three chain is and then make a double crochet chain three to go up then you just create your V's so one row you create your you crochet your V's and then the next row you make your puffs that's all to it so easy and so simple so nice you can slow if I'm crocheting it fast you can slow my tutorials just going to settings and if you want to uh, change it to your own language you can do that as well because it's open I uh, it's open I unlocked it so you can uh, change it to whichever language you want and then you can slow my tutorials as well if, if you see that I'm crocheting it fast so this is all to it so easy so simple and look at the stitch oh my goodness it's lacy stitch it's a lace stitch it's elegant and I just love how it turns out it turns out so I hope you like this short tutorial I just wanted to share it with you because I am planning to make a top and I will do the tutorial with you guys with this stitch uh, I did another tutorial uh, I'm going to show you that as well I've been getting so many comments but I'm not posting it because the comments are kind of rude uh, they're asking me I did the tutorial on how to crochet it most of my tutorials are how to crochet stitches with the stitches that I show you you can create anything you want so uh, like I I'm, I'm posting a picture of a finish item it doesn't mean that I'm going to show you that on that tutorial if it's a stitch that I'm showing it's a stitch and I'm just uh, showing a sample that I have crocheted and I shared it on the thumbnail but uh, I'm getting comments where's the pattern I don't have written patterns as I say so I'm assuming those uh, uh, people who are watching my tutorials are not my followers so they don't know again uh, uh, if I'm doing a tutorial I will uh, write it down how to crochet this top but most of my stitches are how to crochet this stitch so I'm sharing it and then I will come and uh, I will um, make a top or a dress you can make a dress out of this you can make a skirt out of this stitch a scarf it's a fantastic lace scarf I really like the stitch and it gives this nice uh, look and you look at it even on the velvet how nice it looks see and then this is a cotton yarn that I wanted to show it to you so you can push I haven't tried it with a wool yarn but I'm sure it will turn out nice so I, I hope you like this tutorial and I am going to come back to make uh, do a tutorial on how to uh, crochet a top using the stitch and then you can refer it to any other uh, stitches that you can make it it's like two pieces that you crochet and then you just sew it up so easy and simple uh, but I, it looks like uh, you guys want me to show it to you but I will show it to you definitely yeah so stay tuned for that that will be coming in the near future I don't know when <laughs> and I don't know what when uh, the date I, I do not know 
So again, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do subscribe, share it with your family and friends, and uh, happy crocheting, everybody. Stay home, stay safe, take care.